Right, oh. you get this morning's edition up on the laptop while I prepare breakfast. Yeah. Show you who's boss? No, 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 Digby. Let me. Oh, forget it, hacker. If a muscle man like me can't get it open, you've got no ch. <coughs> well, I must have loosened it for you. Right. Let's see if any of my stories have made the front page, shall we? Yeah. Baby contest brings R Factor to Pilbury. A baby contest, front page news. Everything's gone soft these days. Yeah, including your stomach. Exactly. <laughs> well, Enough is enough. We're going to march into Max's office and demand a story that needs my tough guy touch. Whoa. Really? <sighs> oh, uh, heads up, Digworth. Ah! <laughs> You're going to a wedding. Hmm. Well, it's all a bit sudden, but I suppose I am quite a catch. Who's the lucky girl? Not your wedding, dunderhead. You'll be with a bride on her wedding, dear. I want a fly on the wall exclusive. You want me to cover a soppy whoppy wedding? No way. <laughs> Is this hay fever? Oh, yeah. Soppy whoppy stories sell papers. Human interest is what the people want. But, sir, we are ruthless, hard nosed reporters, and we need a story we can get our teeth into. Isn't that right, Hacker? <laughs> is it hay fever? No. Weddings always make me cry. Oh, I knew you were the perfect choice for the job. Now look what you've got us into. <laughs> Get out the pair of you, or it won't be a wedding you'll be going to. It'll be a funeral. You're on. <laughs> Yes, Digby D. Digworth. The D stands for dollar dead hard. You're not on the list. Maybe not, but we are supposed to be here. Check this out. Oh, very impressive. Oh, no, not that. <clears throat> this. We're with the Pilbury Post. We're here to do a piece on the wedding. Oh, you're the reporter fella. Why didn't you see? Malcolm Leonard, father of the braid. I'm so glad my little princess wedding's gonna be in the paper. It's our pleasure. Word of warning, though. Be careful what you write. I'm a big man in local business, and I've invited a lot of very important people to this wedding. So I need to make a good impression. <laughs> and, of course, it is my angel's special day. Well, <clears throat> you can rely on us. Can't he, Hacker? Yeah. <laughs> you see? All right. But I'm watching you. Hello, dear. Digby D. Digworth from the Pilbury Post. Congratulations. <laughs> Is Mr. Digworth bothering you, Princess? Of course I'm not. Am I? Princess. <laughs> now, <clears throat> what makes your wedding so special? Oh, well, I've made my own dress. <laughs> yeah, the proper ones are a bit pricey, aren't they? So that almost looks as good as a real one. Yeah, no one'll notice a difference. Bring that said, I'm getting rid of this joker. No, no, Daddy. You know how much it means to me to have my wedding in the paper. Now, how about a nice cup of tea? So, <clears throat> are you exited... Excited. Excited about your big day? Oh, yes. We start off at the registry office, and then we move to the hotel for the reception, and then Daddy will make his big speech, and then... Yeah, I don't suppose you've got any biscuits, have you, to go with the tea? I'll see you when I can find. So, who is the lucky man? His name is William Handcart. <laughs> Look, Hacker, he's one of them wonky photos. Look. Yeah, did you get that done at the fun fair? <laughs> but 
William is a lovely man. Right from our first date, I knew he was the man for me. He swept me off my feet. He was so... Strong. <laughs> <laughs> romantic. Ro... Man... Tick... Curly cur. Curly cur? Yeah. Yeah, keep it coming. Oh, and... We're using this ring. It's a family heirloom. It belonged to Granny. Crikey! I wouldn't <laughs> dream of getting married without it. Which is why I'm going to take very good care of it. <sighs> oh, these idiots. They've been nothing but trouble since they got here. Uh, yes, but it's yeah. worth a bit of trouble to have my special day all over the newspaper, Daddy. And just think what your business colleagues will say when they see it. Oh, they'll be green. <laughs> but it's your day, pedal, whatever makes you happy. So what else would you like? Where did you get that? Over there. That's my wedding cake. Don't be daft. That's the wedding cake. That is probably the bottom layer of your wedding cake. Oopsie. I'd almost finished it. And I wanted to put a lovely pink icing. Enjoy your wedding. Look, it's a mistake anyone could have made. I'll soon have it fixed. Oh, you keep your clumsy hands off. <laughs> Hello, Malcolm Leonard here. <laughs> oh, is that the time? Thanks for reminding me, thank you. <laughs> that was Francoise, it's time for your hair appointment. Uh, look, Princess, why don't we go and get your hair done? That'll make you feel better. <laughs> then when we come back, we can fix this mess. Come along, Princess. <laughs> We fix the cake. Yeah. <sighs> right, hacker. We need a piece of cake that big. So, where are we going to get cake from? How about there? Brilliant. Wobbly hacker. We need someone to prop it up with. The bride and groom. We take that bit there. Yeah. There. I'm a genius. Ah, now we're a layer short. Whoa! Ah. I didn't like that cake anyway. No. Too fussy and clearly unstable. Let's start afresh. Yeah. I'm not sure about the fish fingers, Digby. It's the third layer hacker. They'll never get that far. And if they do, they'll be ready for a bit of savoury. Now hurry up and ice it so we can get back to our reporting duties. Geronimo! Yeah! <laughs> There. And now for the finishing touch. That is new. Now put a few of these little pink flowers on. Yeah. Yeah. Stand back. Enjoy your weeding, hacker! You nincompoop! Give me that! No! Hey, it's mine! No! Dig me! No! 
<laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh no, no! Now look what you've done! Me? Go and get some soapy water! No! God, the stain's not coming out and it's bright pink. Everyone's gonna see it. I can make sure no one sees it. Good. Well, you sort it out and I'll sort out your spelling mistake. What did you say to me? <laughs> I was colour it in with my new pink pen. Ta da! <laughs> What have you done? Well, you can't see where the stain was, can you? No, good point. It's very clever. What am I saying? You've ruined it! They're back already. What are we going to do? When what's her name sees her dressed like this, she'll kick us off the story and Max will kick us off the paper. I'll go and stall them. You make a new dress. Out of what? Already? Hello again, Mr. Digworth. Oh, your hairdresser was closing, was it? That's a shame. No, 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 there's still time to try another one. Um, there's a barber's just round the corner. You could do with a trim yourself, Malcolm. Out of my way, Digworth. We've still got a lot to do. It's such a nice day. Who cares? I care. My daughter cares. A lot of very important guests care. And if you don't move out of my way, I shall put you into intensive care. <laughs> Wait! You can't go in. It's your last day of freedom. You should enjoy the fresh air while you can. You little... <sighs> Hello, Malcolm Leonard here. What? You're getting... That's all I need. Well, what's wrong, Daddy? That was your Auntie Maureen. Tummy's got chicken pox. He's too sick to be your page boy. You might as well call it all off now, eh? You can't have a wedding without a page boy. Here, you won't even need that wedding dress now, will you? <laughs> It's all right, Princess. We're having this wedding no matter what. I, I, I've told too many people it's going to be the wedding of a lifetime to back out now. No, wait! I'll be your page boy! I do, I do, I do. Daddy! No, wait! Wait! What do you think? What have you done to my dress? And if you think the dress looks good... Hey, don't! Wait till you see your brand new, all improved cake! Weddings always make me cry, too. Thank you for my chocolates. I'll never get to marry you, but I love you. You, you, human disaster zone. All I'm trying to do is to get a story for my paper. Now, I accept in the process there may have been one or two tiny, unavoidable mishaps, but I'm sure I could get everything back on track if I could just have a moment's peace and quiet. Ah, Digworth. How is our radiant beauty? Oh, I'm doing okay, sir. 
Not you, you plum. Helena! How's our blushing bride? More of a flushing bride at the moment, sir, but it's all under control. Ah! Oh, not too soft for you after all, eh? Actually, I could do a bit softer at the moment, sir. Ah! Blubbing like a baby. Wipe your eyes and finish the story, or I'll give you something to cry about. It's for you. <laughs> Hello, Malcolm Leonard here. Good grief, man! You! Pack up! Pack up! Give me a shout if you need me. Freaky eye maker. But I've still got the one thing that really counts. Sandwiches? <laughs> Love! And I've still got Granny's wedding ring. As long as I've got that ring, nothing else matters. Can I have a look at it? Uh, maybe not right now. Please, Daddy, please let me have another laugh. Right <laughs> over, Princess. Uh, you! Get up there! Further away! Get your hands in your head, okay? Caught it, good boy. Oh, oh, budges. Uh, Mr. Linnet, we've got a bit of a problem. Uh, yes, I think we do. Uh, oh, hurry up, Hacker. My arms are getting tired. Oh, it's no good. I can't shake the ring out of him. Anyway, that's it now. Oh. We could do the wedding without a ring or a cake. We could do it without a dress or a page boy, but we can't do it without a bride. Yeah. 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 It's a disaster. I'll have to cancel the whole thing. I've 
invited everybody who's everybody and I'll be the laughing stock of Pilbury. You get used to it. My reputation will be shot. Do you think you've got problems? If I've got a wedding story on Max's desk by the end of the day, I'll lose my job. Oh, something good will come of this then. Now calm down, Mr. Lennon. I will sort this out. You've seen what I can achieve when I put my mind to it? Yes. Yes, I have. Good boy. I've just had the most brilliant idea. Oh dear. No. Seriously. The wedding can go ahead. I can get my story and none of your guests will be any the wiser. Tell me that again. The guests can go ahead, you can get the story, and I'll be none the wiser. Trust me. <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. Hello, bride. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I've got you. A bride chocolate? Would you like one? <gasps> I do. Oh, I do love a wedding. Oh, everyone's always so happy. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> Bogus bride starts registry riot. Dig B, dig one! Take me this way! The big performance is back, and the challenge is even bigger. Let's do this! Singing to 10 million people and children in need. Completely live! I'm here to make you look good. But can this shy group get their act together and make it to... Big Performance! New series continues Tuesdays at 5.45 on the CBBC channel.